Hello my Legends Legionnaires, it's Richard from Zeus Comics. With only two pieces of the spear, our Legends seek out the remaining pieces from the Legion of Doom who've been hiding and attacking our Legends from the Vanishing Point. Arriving in stealth, our Legends reacquire two of the pieces from an object that Firestorm transmutes into jelly beans. Seriously, all the tasty snack combinations popped into my head. Firestorm is at the top of my next party invite list. Fearing that the newly recombined Spear of Destiny will tempt our legends into using it, Mick sets it ablaze, revealing a message in Latin, born of blood, undone of blood. Once Rip tells Sarah they can't actually go to the crucifixion of Christ, Nate informs them of a folklore in which Sir Gawain, who had set out to find the Holy Grail, brought back the blood of Christ. Since Stargirl had conveniently turned folklore into fact and created King Arthur's court, Nate seeks out the expert on Gawain's travels, author J.R.R. Tolkien. So our legends head to 1916, World War I France to convince Tolkien to help them. After discovering the body of Gawain and a map on his crest, the legends head to a battlefield where the chest containing the blood is buried. But the Legion of Doom is not far behind, and they've brought Leonard Snart, Captain Cold, plucked from a point of time where he's still villainous and alive. This is enough to cause McRory, Heatwave, to switch sides. Our now newly five Legion of Doom, Merlin, Dark, Thawne, Snark, and Rory conclude the episode powering up the Spear of Destiny. Can our legends overcome their own altered history and versions of themselves, and in a timeline controlled by the Legion of Doom? It's a twisted new reality in the next Legends of Tomorrow, Doom World.